Hey boys and girls, welcome back to my art channel. Today I'm going to show you how to start building a paper sculpture using toilet paper tubes and paper towel tubes. Well, we all know right now that toilet paper is the ultimate necessity when trying to find it in grocery stores. I'm sure that you have lots of toilet paper tubes laying around your houses as well as paper towel tubes. We are going to make a sculpture out of them, so stay tuned for what we're going to do. Today with the kind of paper sculpture that we're building with our toilet paper tubes, we are actually going to kind of look into paper quilling. Now, paper quilling is a, a type of paper craft where artists can take their paper and they roll it up really, really tiny and then they can let it roll out or they'll glue it and stay nice and uh, tight together. And it's basically the art of paper rolling. They use the curls and the curves to create art with it. And since our toilet paper tubes and rolls already have circles in them, we can use these to kind of create a similar effect that paper quillers use. Continuing off of that, we are also kind of looking at some radial symmetry with this project today. So radial symmetry, I'll try and put a picture over here next to me. Radial symmetry means that your, uh, your work is just symmetrical as you would move it around in a circle and as it would follow a radius of a circle. So if you know your radius and your diameter and your circumference, some of those kind of geometry math terms, you will know that radial is half of a circle. So if a circle is here, it's from the point to the edge, that's your radius. And so to move around in a circle like the hands on a clock, we are following radial symmetry with this project. There's our little vocab, let's get started. So first things first, toilet paper tubes can carry other germs and things like that on them. So before you start using them, I would give them a spray down with some Lysol if you have it in your house or just a disinfectant um, and let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes to dry just to make sure that your toilet paper tubes are clean. Paper towel rolls though are usually pretty clean as is. So that's just my tip before we get started. Other than that, the only thing that you need other than the tubes are a pair of scissors and some glue. You can use um, liquid glue, you can use a glue stick, you can use tape, whatever you want, however you want to secure your pieces together. Are you ready? Let's get started. I'm going to start by taking my scissors and my toilet paper tubes and kind of bending them, folding them into a leaf shape and I'm going to slice them into smaller uh, pieces. Again, if this is a little too tough or tricky for your hands, if they're a little bit smaller, ask an adult to help you um, cut up your toilet paper tubes. Okay, I think this is enough to get me started for now. So I'm gonna kind of push them to the side and figure out how I want to start my toilet paper tube sculpture. So the sculpture can kind of take on the form of a snowflake or of a flower or other things like that, but you can also expand it and do all kinds of different things um, that is done when we talk about more traditional paper quilling. Now paper quilling, you can Google it to find tons more images, um, but it's basically taking paper, rolling it up really small, um, and then kind of using the, the curls to create art with it. And that's kind of what we're doing here in a little bit of a different form. So I could either start with my circle, circle in the center, or I can make some leafy shapes and glue them together um, like this. I think I like how this looks. So this is going to be my center, yeah. And I'm gonna open up my glue and I'm gonna glue just my edges together and pinch them. I'm gonna count to about 15 or 20 each time to make sure the glue is sticking and gets nice and set. And then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do after this. All right, now that I have my center done, now I can move towards um, my outer layer. So I could continue to put in more pieces like this if I wanted to. I could bring them um, across if I wanted to. I can even cut one in half if I wanted to do that as well, if I wanted to hug them around, or maybe I want them to stick out. I am thinking I'm gonna roll the tip of this around my finger. And 
And I want to glue in little heart shapes, maybe. Like that, yeah. Alright, there you have it. This is my paper sculpture so far. Now we notice that we can see that radial symmetry as we move it around in a circle. It is the same on every side. That means it's radially symmetrical. Um, and we also can, we took some notes from some paper quilling techniques like making the hearts and things like that. I want to challenge you to practice making your own sorts of techniques. Um, if you want to research more kind of paper quilling, you can do that too. And you can do this with just regular paper um, and have very similar results. Um, this is a lot like a project I did when I was in elementary school, so it brought up a lot of happy memories for me as I was creating it. And I think I'm even going to let the glue dry and then start to build more on top of it as well. I might leave it out here on the table on a paper towel or a piece of, uh, of newspaper to let it dry for a little bit before I keep working. I would love to see what you're creating. Um, these are really cool and you can even hang them from a string and let them spin around. You can paint them when they're all done and make them bright and fun colors. It's totally up to you. Use your creativity to the best of your ability. Um, but that's all I have for today. I'm super excited. Uh, next week we're going to have an awesome theme on all of our videos right before spring break. Would love to see what you're creating. Make sure to post on the page or you can send me an email or post with the hashtag. I hope you're all doing well. I love you. See you later. Bye.